I purchased this home about a year ago and the backyard was something I always wanted to tackle. I don't have much experience within the gardening field, so I guess you could say I'm pretty much a newbie when it comes to gardening. I'm thinking about planting some bell peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, something that would be fairly easy to maintain and also something that I can share with my son and help him learn about gardening and fresh vegetables as well. I heard about the Oric machine and decided to give that a try to start my first garden and hopefully it'll work out so I can have a garden every season after now. Hey, thank you too for coming out to look at the Oric America Garden Quake, a tiller of the future. Let's, let's review some of this. This is the front engine bumper guard or the engine guard. We come around here, we have the choke to start it. Go to the recoil starter using your left foot on here as a safety feature, pulling with your right hand away from the handlebars to start. To control the engine speed, the throttle is right here. To accelerate, it's down, and to decelerate, you'll turn it back up. This will slow the engine, or you can use the on-off switch here to kill the entire engine and all the components. I have a question. Sure. Is this hard to pull? Is this something that anybody would be able to pull or does it take a lot of muscle to get that going? No, it takes very little. you running with a Honda commercial engine. Okay. And that is so easy to start. You can just climb on when we get ready to go. You can start it and you'll say, wow. Even cool. after it being sitting for a while at the cold start? Uh, we just hit the choke okay. and the throttle and get it going and then go back and shut off the choke. Okay. Yep. You'll, you'll love how easy it is and how easy it is to handle in your garden. The clutch lever goes down and engages both wheels and the rear tines in a forward motion. And by moving the transmission, the shift lever allows the tiller to go in the first gear for tilling and then up and over. This engages the tiller and the forward action and it's the only gear that you're going to be allowed to till in. To come back out of tilling and go in the second gear for transportation to and from your starting point. Reverse is again to move it backwards, but the tines will never rotate in reverse or second gear because that's a safety feature and will only engage up here to till. But let me show you, if you need to stop suddenly, let go. Okay. This will stop the wheels. And because you're also in the tilling mode, it's gonna stop the tiller from rotating. The handlebar height can be changed for higher or lower, but let me show you first show you that by simply loosening, I can flip the handlebars all the way down for storage. Coming back upwards, I can use it to adjust height from lower to higher. Is this something that I would be able to use if I wanted to do a flower garden around a tree in the yard? So you want to circle the entire tree and then plant your... Correct. Sure. Now to do that, you're in the till mode and you just go around stepping off to the side so you're staying out of the just freshly tilled soil. But I'm assuming you want some square garden or some rectangular garden too with the... I would line. be doing both. You're doing, okay, great. So here's what you're gonna do if you're gonna do the straight line. You're gonna bring the locking differential down, locking both wheels together. So when the tiller goes forward, it's not going back and forth like this. And you go forward, you come to the end of the roll, bring it back, turn it. Okay. That quickly. The rear tines have a depth bar which is controlled right here. I can go shallow or I can go deep by pulling the bar all the way up. Down for shallow, up for deeper ground. Since you're going with fresh, undisturbed ground, 
You want to keep the tiller depth adjustment in the high position just to break up your sod. And then on your second pass, you're going to release it down further and it's going to go deeper. Okay. So the higher up this is, the deeper the till is going to be? Exactly. Okay. Because this is holding it up. Okay. All right. Here's the rear hood guard, which is designed to keep any debris from kicking back at you. And also a nice poly raking feature that will smooth out your freshly tilled soil and make it look professionally uniform. Down underneath here, you'll see the tines move. And here, which is most interesting, is the easy anchor. This is going to stabilize it on the ground. It's going to keep it from going side to side. It's going to keep it from hopping. And that is going to make your job a whole lot simpler. Is that what helps give it a consistent depth through the whole garden? Right, okay. In, instead of bouncing, if you hit a hard clay soil or hard pack, it will stay moving, but at a slower pace until it breaks through and then we'll pick up. It won't bog down, but it will move and do the job completely. Okay. I just finished using it and I think what surprised me the most was how it self-propelled. I thought I would have to strain a lot and use a lot of muscle, but it really just moved itself very, very cleanly through. Yeah, I was actually surprised how fast it moved and like how much dirt it still got up and how it tilled really well. Well, I think that this is it. So are you ready for a garden every season now? Oh yeah, <laughs> I think it's going to be a routine now. <laughs>